Hello students, welcome to e-learning. I am your science teacher Shivani Tripathi with new chapter, which is chapter first, crop management and crop production and management. Basically, we are going to see how the crops is produced and managed. Before starting the chapter, I would like to give you an important information about the world population. Total world population is 7.7 .7 billion right now and total India's population is 1.37 billion right now but only 11% of the world land is used as cultivation. This is a strong point. Since we are having so much of land but only 11% of the world land is used as a cultivation. Let me tell you that what is crop now? Crop. Since my chapter is totally based on the crop and crop that is also we can say producer, autotroph, which are totally all the heterotrophs and other organisms are dependent on the crops or producer you can say for their survival. So basically what are crops? When the plant of the same kind, crops, definition, when the plants of same kind are grown or cultivated in a given reason on a large scale it is called crops. plant of same kind especially same kind are grown or cultivated in the given reason given reason means in hectare in which land they are going to be uh, we are going to be produced that on a large scale that is called crops so basically we are not going to see what is crops we are going also we are also going to see how we are dependent on the crops and what are the type of the crops we all know all the organisms are dependent on producers. Producers which will produce with the help of sunlight, autotrophs, autotrophs or you can say producers. We know all other members, all the consumers, consumers are dependent for the food, depend, depend for the food on producer. Consumer, consumer may be heterotrophs, herbivores, carnivores, any herbivores or carnivores, carnivores. We can see herbivores, herbivores which directly feed on producers. Feed on producers that are herbivores. And all the carnivores feeds on herbivores. Feeds on herbivores. They are called consumers. So we can see Everybody, every living organism in this world is dependent for the food on producer whether directly or indirectly. They have to take an alternative source for their living, for their survival because such a large population of the world can be depend directly only on producer. It can be sown, it can be uh, depends on herbivores too. So, since India is a vast country, 
India has several climatic factors like rainfall, humidity and temperature. So, growing crops in a different season is the main important factor here. Basically, crops are grown in two parts that are Kharif crop and Ravi crops. So, we are going to check on types of crops. Types of crops. We have two types of crops. There are two types of crops. First is Kharif crop and second is Ravi crops. Now, what is Kharif crop? Crops that are grown in rainy season that are called Kharif crop. And what is that season? It is from June to September. For example, maize, soya bean, etc. These are current crop crops that are grown in the rainy season only. From June to September, that is rainy season, all the current crops will grow in the rainy season. Now what is rabi crops? Crops that are grown in winter season that are called rabi crop. How winter season? It is from October to March. For example, wheat, pea, etc. So these are the two types of crops. First is curry crops. Crops that are grown in the rainy season only that are called curry crops. From June to September, that may serve in the sector, you can uh, see. And now, rabi crops. What are rabi crops? Crops that are grown in winter season only from October to March, that is rabi crops. Feed, pea, etc. And all these type of crops is basically depend on our temperature or our climatic factor. And what are climatic factor? Climatic factors are humidity, humidity, temperature and rainfall. Most important because these climatic factors are only responsible for the production of these producers, plants or crops. Basically we are going to see how these crops are going to be produced and in the next section we will see how these crops are going to be managed. So this was to, uh, this is for today. Thank you. We will see you in the next session. Thank you.